All right, so let's take a look at our first unit's flashcards. This is our longest unit, so there's going to be a lot to look at. Um, our first topics really rely on our understanding of basic governmental philosophies with regards to limited government. You know, the United States is based on a system that our government should have limits. It's not an authoritarian government. It's not a dictatorship. And at the core of our political system are certain beliefs that come from Enlightenment political thinkers of the 16 and 1700s. First one is natural rights. So natural rights are very simply rights that that people are born with. And um, Enlightenment thinkers articulated, John Locke articulated, people are born with rights. Um, John Locke specifically said these rights are life, liberty, and property. And we see the concept of natural rights embodied in the founding documents of the United States. The popular sovereignty is the idea that power comes from the people themselves. It doesn't come from God. Uh, there's no divine rulers. Um, but in fact, the people themselves give power to the government. So we have a limited government that's based on natural rights. People have these rights that can't be taken away. Um, and the people themselves have the authority to <clears throat> give, give power to the government. The idea of republicanism is the idea that people uh, select their representatives to represent them. And that is obviously what our political system is. This is a core idea in American government. In our political government is not republican in the sense of the political party, the Republicans, but rather the concept of people represent um, the, uh, their constituents in some sort of representative body. And then we have the social contract. So the social contract is the idea that people give up some of their natural rights in the state of nature. They can do anything and they have complete freedom. Some of their freedoms are given up and in return, the government will provide protection for the core natural rights uh, that they are born with. So you give up your right to harm someone or your right to uh, steal and uh, in return, the government will will protect you from others, um, and you give up some of your rights in this contract with the government. These concepts are embodied in um, the American political documents. Okay, the Declaration of Independence of the rights, the ideals, uh, the core ideals of American democracy that are embedded in the Declaration of Independence. We certainly see the concept of natural rights, the idea that. Jefferson really echoes John Locke when he says people have uh, the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. You know, he changes his property to pursuit of happiness, but really he is embodying this natural rights principle. Um, and that the popular sovereignty is uh, a core, right? Uh, uh, the, you know, we're overthrowing the king. The king doesn't have a legitimate right to rule. And also the idea that uh, there's a social contract that the, the king is violating. Um, these uh, these rights. He's not uh, keeping up his end of the bargain. Uh, Republicanism isn't really um, a uh, a core ideal of the Democrat uh, the Declaration of Independence, but rather that comes uh, along in the Constitution. The Constitution embodies the idea of republicanism in this type of government. It, it sets up in a representative body, explicitly in the House of Representatives, um, and. People are electing elected representatives. So we have these core political principles in American politics and American government, I should say. And the United States government is what we call a liberal democracy in the sense that it embodies these basic principles of uh, limited government, natural rights, popular sovereignty, a social contract, elected representatives. It's a democratic system, but it's not a pure democracy. Uh, and those are underlying key principles of American political thought. So there's our first topic, topic 1.1 on our flashcards. We'll move ahead in the next video.